Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Joby Gorilla Tripod for my DSLR. So this is the standard one. Uh, for the DSLR, you can get a better one, which will support more weight. But this actually supports cameras under the weight of 3 kilograms, so most regular DSLRs will be fine. And mine even holds my Canon 700D with the battery grip and a microphone mounted on top. So it's pretty impressive, but if you're using like a telephoto lens, then maybe you want to go get the heavier, uh, the one that supports the heavier tripod. One of the main features of the tripod is that it has flexible legs that can be pushed into a bunch of different positions, which is really, really handy, so that you can wrap it around objects as well as get low shots and even awkward shots in really tight spaces, which I find is really, really useful. Another good feature of this tripod is that it has a quick release plate on top that attaches to your camera, so you can quickly pull off your camera from the tripod or put it back on. You can also check if your camera is actually balanced by using the onboard spirit level built into the actual quick release plate, which I find also really really handy, and I don't have any other way of measuring whether my camera's level. I personally think that the tripod is great for when you're traveling around, as you can just put it in your backpack like I did for the creator event uh, that I went to yesterday. And I found it really handy, I could just take it out and I could just put it on the desk, record myself and I just put it away and walked off and it's just really really good. The ball head doesn't actually come with the default tripod, which is a bit weird, you have to actually buy it, um, or you can get a pack like I did, which includes both for a cheaper price than if you were to buy them separately. If you want to see the exact one that I bought, I'll leave the link down below in the description so you can see the exact one I bought from the, from the exact seller. But I find the ball head really, really useful when I use it because it allows you to get some really kind of amazing positions and sort of angles and you can really just move your camera however you want it to be positioned. If you were to mount it on something like the tripod, your camera would have to face whatever way you've mounted it on. So you, you wouldn't be able to turn it around or like twist it or, you know, stuff like that. And I find that really useful. So I don't think I could actually use this without the ball head. To be honest, I would say that the ball head is a really essential item and you'd probably want to get that, otherwise this item is not that great. Now this is one thing that I think is great. The rubberized feet on the bottom of each of the legs is so good, it has so much grip to it that you can actually just lock it down on any terrain and it'll be so sturdy and solid you'll just have so much faith in it uh, holding your expensive gear. But with the ball mount and the tripod itself together, it weighs around 300 grams, so it isn't like that light, but it's not like way too heavy. But it's enough so that it won't like get blown over in like high winds, um, and also it's enough so that you can carry it around and stuff, you know, it's not too bad. But it isn't a cheap feeling uh, due to the weight, just because it's not like amazingly heavy doesn't mean it's cheap. It's made of really strong ABS plastic and machined aluminium, so it is really, really nice and it does feel really solid. I do trust it with my gear. But anyway guys, that's it. It's just a quick short review, but it is a great tripod and I definitely recommend it. It's so good for videographers, photographers, and even just vloggers who want a small compact tripod. And it's even good at home if you wanna just put it down on a shelf or whether you wanna bend it around a door handle. It works great for that. And you can even stick it onto like a window if you just stick one of the legs under your window opener handle. I find that useful as well. And I'm amazed how many positions and things that I can get it around in order to get really epic shots. So it's definitely a must buy and I'll leave the link down below. Whatever one you get, whether you get the heavier one, the DSLR one, or even if you just get one for your iPhone, they're all really, really good. So anyway guys, that's it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I really hope you enjoyed my video.